Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Hot Wheels Unleashed. And I think today is the day that we're going to 100% finish the campaign mode, uh, finishing out on extreme difficulty at that. So let's hop into the map and see what we're doing here. All right, it looks like we have seven races to get to. You can see right here on the screen, three up here, four down here. So I think I'm gonna start with this one, work my way to the left and then work our way all the way to finish up on magnetic climb. So let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start off with parkour, reach first place. All right, so as usual, it's been a couple days since I played. So the first race usually is my warm up race to get back into feeling Feeling out how the car controls again. All right, here we go. Ooh, that was a little bit, a little bit laggy on the start there. I didn't get any boost notches. I thought I was supposed to fill up if I was in the green. Maybe that's only on the uh, time trial ones. Oh no, too much grip. Oh, the dragon has a lot of grip compared to whoa, compared to the uh, the Yesco. So I have been considering swapping out back and forth, just trying the the Jesco on a couple of races. I keep swapping whether I say Jesco or Jesco, just because I've seen both in the comments. Um, but a lot of people seem to prefer that car over the Dragon. I think the Dragon is just easier to drift with, and it really depends on the race. Like this is a really, really drifty race so far. So look at how much boost I'm saving up. But the other car only has two boost notches total, so I would just be wasting so much drift opportunities. But man, uh, we got three laps on this course, and so far, it's been the top three positions have been in tight competition here. Man, this is a crazy course. Ugh, lots of opportunity for falling off. I haven't been looking for shortcuts this time yet but I am sure that there are definitely shortcuts on a race called parkour. Oh man, if this was the last lap, I would have come in first, but uh, we have two more laps to defend ourselves with. I feel like I've been doing okay considering it's the first race back. Uh, I feel like I'm boosting too much. No, that was, that was an okay spot to boost. Man. There is so much drifting on this one, and I finally pulled ahead, I feel like. All right. A lot of people have been asking for the track builder again. Uh, I do plan on revisioning the track builder at some point. The only reason I've been a little bit less gung-ho on the track builder is because after you build the track, you can't really, like, you can't put the AI on it. You can't race the AI with it. So it's a little bit underwhelming to not just be able to test it with um, other cars. And I haven't tried multiplayer yet. So maybe you can, I don't know, maybe you can choose your track in multiplayer. So I have no idea how multiplayer works. So that is definitely something I want to try out after I finish the campaign in this episode. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to fall off there. Oh, dinosaur caught up with me. Dragon versus Raptor, who is superior? Okay, well, he just fell off the course, so I think we answered that question pretty well. <laughs> the timing of that. Oh, why did I slow down so much? That was weird. All right, I feel like we're doing good, especially being the first race back. Usually I do terrible the first race back, and then I get into a groove. I hope this isn't a sign that I've just used my groove on the first race and the rest of it's just gonna be out of the groove. Uh, maybe you wanna be out of the groove. If it was bowling, you definitely don't wanna be in the groove. Cause that's what they call a gutter ball in case you didn't get the joke. All right, I've been saving up a lot of boost. I should be boosting a little bit more. There's, a lot of, there's boost pads too anyway, so you don't want to waste your boost by doubling it up with the boost pad either. All right, I saw the dinosaur over there. He's starting to catch up again. Ooh, I actually did that S-Bend good that time. All right. Am I actually getting good at this game? <laughs> On the last seven races, I'm finally like doing well. This is feeling really nice. All right, watch me do like a major screw up at before the end of the race. 
All right, now I'm gonna remember. There's a boost pad off this drop here. All right, I got it that time. I missed it every single other time. All right, and then in we are for the ending. Just like that. Great first race. Yeah, the dragon was definitely the car to go for that race. There was drifting all over the place. All right, moving on. We got another podium race. Uh, reach first place at the Hot Wheels warehouse. Have I done the Hot Wheels warehouse before? I don't know. I don't like the warehouse. Uh, the garage, I mean, as a map. The lighting, I don't like the lighting on it. The courses tend to be the more annoying courses. And where does that jump go? Did you see that? There was just a jump out into a wall. I don't... Where is that supposed to go? I don't know if I've done this course before. I guess we're going to find out right now. All right. There's some new cars here. There's some new DLC. I think it's some, like, Batman... Oh! <laughs> I think there's some, like, Batman-themed or DC-themed DLC. I haven't gotten any of the DLC yet, though. Oh, no. There's another 24 hours on this course. Oh, the last time I was racing against the 24 hours, it was the toughest race of my life. All right, yeah, this is not a familiar course so far. For some reason, it's always the garage courses that have very unnatural uh, turns and stuff. All right, we've got fire. I still have not fell, fallen victim to the dragon. Oh! This is fine. All normal. Just gonna get back on the course. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've never fallen victim to the dragon's fire. And, I don't know, maybe he's biased because I'm a dragon as well. Or maybe it's just because I decide not to fl drive into the fire every single time. Okay, yeah, this course is definitely... The last course was really, really nice. Very intuitive and smooth transitions. This course is just chaos as far as the, the turns and the corners. All right. Oh, I just realized now I, I have the 76, 78, 80% completion. This is not a lapped race. 85%. Okay. This is the first time I've actually noticed the percentage meter. No, 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 no. Oh boy. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Get the boost. Get the boost. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. He was catching up so fast. <laughs> I didn't notice until the last 20% that we weren't doing laps. All right. It's really handy actually seeing the percentage meter for a sprint like that. All right, that was the first sprint I've had against AI in a really long time. Okay, 136 time trial against yourself. That just makes me feel like this course is out to get me. <laughs> All right, magnetic fields. I'm pretty sure we've driven this course before. All right, 136, I think, was the time to beat. All right, we had a good charge off of that start there. Oh, frames are going a little bit down there. Oh, yeah, I've, I've done this course before. I did this in the last video, I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right, 136. I don't know how hard this is going to be. There were actually, some of you guys were saying there's some pretty decent shortcut opportunity on this course. I don't know if it's easy though. I don't know if I'll be able to see it uh, as I'm driving. I'll try to keep an eye out though. I know I'm gonna miss it. All right, maybe that was one of the spots. I think falling off of, oh! Oh, I think it was. I might retry this course to try the shortcut. I think we can drop down off of that table, do a 180, and be right at the finish line. As long as there's no checkpoints. Nope, there's a checkpoint. There's a checkpoint. Because there's a checkpoint, that would uh, be something that we cannot do. Because we will miss the checkpoint and have to restart completely. And I have not been using nearly enough boost, I feel like. 136? All right, we're getting closer. Half, or not halfway. I, was, I saw the 15 and like, you know, half of 30 is 15. All right. We got this. No problem. We have 10 seconds left still and there's the finish line. All right. That was a really, that was a really good lead over the, uh, the time to beat. 129 out of 136. Not bad at all. Okay, so there's the first three races done. 
And I think all we, we're at 95.5% completion. All we got are these ones now. We're gonna end on Magnetic Climb. Okay, so now we got 148, another time trial. T-Rex in the living room. All right, let's see how it goes. Another good start. All right, I'll use two boosts off the start here. That was decent. Just narrowly, oh, that was not decent. Oh, that slowed me down so much. Oh, that was not good. Hmm. Hopefully I can recover from that and have it not lose me this unleashed goal. Oh, what kind of turn is that? Have I done this course? If I've done this course, it's been, oh my goodness. It's been a long time since I've done this course if I have done it. I don't, like, all these turns feel terrible. Man, yeah, this is a, this is, I don't like the design of this. This is very unnatural. Oh no, oh my, where do I even use a boost? There's just turns everywhere. <sighs> oh man. Okay. Yeah, this is an awkward course. This is a really, really awkward course. All right, come on, let's keep the speed up. 148 is the time to beat. Oh, such sharp turns. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was just hanging off of the edge there. I don't think I'm gonna do it. This has been a terrible, terrible. Oh, there it is. Never mind. All right, I did it. I actually had like seven seconds ahead of the time there. I don't know how after that performance. That was terrible. Six seconds ahead of the time. Okay, I'll take it. Apparently, they expect you to do really, really bad on that course. All right, another time trial. 120? Is that the shortest time trial so far? 120 is very short. Yeah, that, that one was 136. All right, well, let's get into it. Short races, I don't mind at all. Duck Slalom. Is this a new one too? Duck Slalom. I'm assuming we're gonna be going into the air vents on this one. Okay, another good start. I've been doing good, doing better with my boost charging off of the start. Where are we going? Yeah, this feels like a new course as well. New to me. Oh no, get the boost, get the boost. When are we going into the ducks? I don't see any ducks yet. Ah, I made a mistake there. Oh, I think I have done this one, actually. I think I remember that part. Hmm. Yep. Yep, I've done this one before. I remember this now. Whoa, okay. Here's the duck slalom. Oh no. Okay, that was, I had a decent landing zone after that jump. I thought I was gonna go off the course a little bit or I was worried I was going to. Oh yeah, this has the big drift section here. There we go, what are we at, 110? Man, we've been doing really good, another, that was eight seconds ahead of the the, uh, the goal. Yeah, 112 out of 120. All right, I feel like I'm finally in my groove. It only took me till the end of the campaign to get in a decent groove. Of course, I say that now, and I've got two more races versus the AI. Oh, what? I wasn't expecting to get another car. Hypo Hauler. That does not look like an appealing car. Let's take a look at the stats real quick before we uh, before we move on here. Oh, it's a secret car? Why? What secret did I unlock? Interesting. So that means we can't upgrade this car, so it just has bad speed. It has really good acceleration and braking power, but the speed, not so much. All right, well, let's continue. Oh, maybe what we just did, we just beat, there we go. Underneath my face cam, 32 out of 32 time attacks. I think that's a secret car for beating all of the time attacks. Uh, time attacks, <laughs> time attacks. So now we got two more quick races and we have 50 out of 52. So yep, that's gonna be 100% completion. So we're probably gonna get at least one more secret car after beating these two races. All right, another garage one. Let's see if we can reach first place. Spider trial. We're probably gonna, 
we're probably going to be able to do this. I think spiders tend to help me more than hurt me when it comes to the AI races. I say that now, but uh, I may be speaking too soon. All right, here we go. It is on. Yeah. All right, getting an early first place is nice. Let's see if we can maintain it. We got three laps on this course. All right, there's a decent amount of drifting on this course too, which I appreciate. Like this is, so far for a garage course, this is actually feeling pretty nice. Oh boy, here we go. Nope. <laughs> They're relatively easy to fake out as long as you have room to swerve. Where am I going? There I am. Oh, is somebody right next to me? Oh no, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? How'd you get through? There was like, the whole course was covered. Remember when I said that the spiders were gonna help me more than hurt me? I'm starting to rethink that statement. Come on. Gotta catch up to this guy. Who are you, Mini Cooper? Really? I'm being shown up by a Mini Cooper right now? Don't. The spider's gonna get you next. It's coming for you next. I hope you know that. You're in first. Yeah, that was a good drift. All right, let's see it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That okay, all right. That's what I get for uh, gloating at somebody else's misfortune. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through here. Thank you very, no! I'm doing really, really bad with the spiders. Did he fall off the course? Oh, interesting. I think he actually fell off the course. I saw his red dot way off of the track. Okay. All right, we were in first place at the end of the second lap, so that's a good sign. All we gotta do, there was two spiders, not one. All we gotta do is avoid the spiders and hope that the AI gets tripped up by them this time. All right, we avoided that one. And we got one more up here. Ah, oh, the landing messed me up. No! Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. This is really bad. Oh, this is really, really bad. That was terrible timing. I'm not gonna catch up. No. Go, 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 go. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, I had it. I had the speed to overtake him, but I could not pull to the inside enough because of the, because of, because of the speed. All right, we're gonna restart that. Man, I was in a groove. The spider in the jump, it just, it didn't work out. I think I'm still in the groove. I just got messed up by the spiders. I knew that was gonna come back to haunt me when I said that the spiders helped me more than hurt me. That time the spider lost me the race. All right, so I see how it is. The spiders, the spiders have made their decision. They've chosen their side. They chose violence. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to definitely remember that. What am I gonna do with that memory? There's not a lot I can really do about it, to be honest, but I just want them to know that they will be remembered. Now it sounds like a good thing. <laughs> it's not a good thing, okay? All right, there we go. I hope the rest of the AI got caught up in those spider webs. All right, how do we do this? How do we do this? This is littered. You are littered. Oh my goodness, I actually avoided it that time. There's just too many webs on the ground sometimes. There we go. All right, that was a really, really good first lap. Now let's just maintain that. All right, here we go. Woo! That was actually pretty cool. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I don't regret it. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. All right. Doing better this time so far. All right, this is the spider that's harder. The spider is definitely harder to... Ooh, that was close, but we still managed to do it. I feel like we have a healthy lead over the competition. We may even be able to afford 
one spider mistake on the last lap, but I'm definitely gonna try my best not to deal with that. Should I do it again? Woo! Perfect. There's just enough time for that if you don't boost. All right, another easy one. There we are. Okay, here we go, where are the webs? Ooh, another easy one. All right, this was our race. The spiders were on our side. I told them that I, would, I wouldn't forget. And uh, you see, the intimidation worked. They were a lot more gentle with me this time. There we go. I feel like we were, I haven't even seen the competition that whole time. If you can miss the spiders, I feel like they're eventually gonna get hung up in them and you're just gonna pull ahead. All right, one more race for 100% completion. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Magnetic climb, reach first place. Don't mind if I do. I said I was gonna switch back and forth, but I ended up just using the dragon the whole time. It's been, these have been dragon-centric, uh, dragon-favorable races. Okay, another good booze. Here we go. Ooh, another sprint? Really? After, like, many episodes without a single sprint against the AI, we've got two. Oh, awkward. Uh, oh, there's... I remember this race. I think there is room to fall off on this race. Like, accidentally mess everything up and completely fall off of the race like I almost just did there. All right. Um, this race is off to a shaky start. I am not as far ahead of the competition as I would like to be. In fact, I'm just plain not ahead of the competition at all. Whoa. He almost messed me up. This guy's trying to get under my wheels. Oh, here's one of the spots. There's one of the spots. Okay, thank God I had a boost. Because if I did not have that boost, I would have gone off the course. And right here is another spot that you can fall off the course too, if you boost. But this isn't a lapped course. This is a sprint, so we don't have to worry about that unless I lose and have to try it again. Oh boy. Oh, this is such an awkward course. You can't see ahead of you very much. All right, I do not have a lot of boost saved up. This might actually be, if I lose this, this might be worth switching over to the Koenigsegg. But, oh, he's right behind me. He is actually right behind me. Yeah, watch the map in the bottom left. There's the yellow dot right there. No. No, 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 no. No. No! What? Oh, I was fighting. I could have held off the one guy, but I can't hold off two. All right. I think we're going to have to switch to the, uh, to the Jesco for this one. But... I think even though, do we get do we get a secret anyway? Because I technically beat the race even though I didn't get the unleashed goal. No. Oh, it still says 51 out of 52, so that didn't count. Okay, in that case, we are switching. We're doing the big finale with our 2020 Koenigsegg Gesco. By the way, has my proudest paint job that I put on this thing. I'm very, very proud of that paint job. Wedge gang all the way. Let's see if we can pull this off. We're gonna have a better top speed on the straightaways this time. I just gotta get used to the fact that drifting is gonna, I'm gonna be able to drift a lot wider. Man, yeah, I can feel the faster top speed. This is gonna be a tough race, I think. I might have to start looking for, oh no, I did it again! No! <laughs> okay, let's just restart. Oh, come on, let this be the one. Let this be the one. Oh, uh, there's 24 hours again, but I don't think he's the front runner for this race. He has not been blessed by the AI gods with the stats. Apparently, the Aston Martin is the car to beat. Excuse you. Come on. I'm trying to trying to win the race here. I know you are too, but I'm the main character of this series, okay? That means I have to win. Are we all in agreement? Good. Okay, let's not use a boost here. Thank you. Let's not use a boost here. Oh, somebody just used a boost. Oh, they used a little bit of a boost. They had the boost gauge. All right, now we can use the boost. All right, how you doing first place? Looking comfy up there. Can I, can I try? 
Thank you. Oh, it is comfortable up here. It feels so nice. I'm, I'm really, really love what you've done with the place. Oops. I don't like how you put that there, though. Okay, come on. Oh, he's right behind me. All right, and we're gonna boost again. Okay, I'm gonna save my boost until he's actually close to me. Okay, now I'm gonna use it because I, I don't wanna have full boost. I always just wanna have some boost that I can save. Oh, he is right behind me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. No! What? Third place again? That last part of the course is so rough. It's just a straightaway, and I don't have any more boost left. I don't know what to do with that last part. I feel like they're gonna take me every time, and the fact that there's two front runners and have just one means I can't cut one off and be safe, because the other guy is gonna take us both over. Hey, at least the last race isn't a boring one, that's for sure. Oh no! Dang it, why every single time? Ah, I can't. Oh no, I keep doing that. I keep doing that. All right, I, I have a lot of uncertainty about this course. That last section, I remember on hard mode, having a lot of trouble with that last stretch into the finish line, just because you can't save up any boost. It's just very, very straight, and then the AI just comes in boosting ahead of you for the finish line. Ugh, this 24 hours has been up in front in a lot of these attempts, but right now it's the Aston Martin, and it's probably gonna be the 24 hours that's gonna keep coming up ahead of me. Wow, playing dirty. I gotta, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch up now. Unless he flies off the course up here, which he did not. Okay. Here we go. We caught up a little bit there. All right, I was able to pass him, not even boosting. I know he's gonna pass me very soon though. Ooh, this is a rough part. Okay. Okay, now here's where I'm out of boost. And we're coming up on just a lot of straightaways. They're gonna catch up, I know they are. Come on, stay ahead. I think this is the furthest ahead I've been. Oh, no. Get off. Ooh! That was the best ending. That was the best ending ever. <laughs> He was in front of me, and I caught under his back tires and managed to spin him out and then boost up into the finish line. That was perfect. And I think with that, we have just completed 100%. Are we going to get a secret car here? Please tell me we get a secret car. That should be it. 100% completion. And look at that. Oh, we get two secret cars. Oh, probably one for beating everything 100% and one for beating all of the quick races. Volkswagen Beach Bomb. That doesn't sound like a fun car. Duck and Roll, though? I don't even. I don't think I've even seen that one. I haven't been. Maybe I haven't been paying enough attention. Oh, and we got a whole bunch of other stuff. You've freed our city and overcome all the challenges you had to face. There's no prize more valuable than this in Hot Wheels City. Congratulations. I beg to differ. I think getting like you know uh, a 24 hours could be a pretty valuable prize more than freeing the city. And I've also heard that heard that the Wiener Mobile or whatever is a pretty good car too. All right, let's check out these new cars that we got. Okay, so here is the Volkswagen Beach Bomb. Actually, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Five out of six speed and four out of six acceleration. Only two boosts, but it's definitely worse. It is definitely worse than um, our current favorites. And then this is another secret car. Ooh, whoa, whoa. This is actually good. What? Max speed and max acceleration with six boosts? 
Hold on a second here. This only has five boosts and it has max acceleration, but not max speed. This has max speed and acceleration, but only two boosts. This has max speed and acceleration and six boosts. The braking power and the handling aren't that great, but like, I don't know what the handling is like on that. This has max handling and this has five out of six handling. What does one handling feel like? You know what? Let's try it. Let's use this car on the race that we just did and see how it feels. Yeah, I'm sorry. We can't unlock a car with stats like this and not give it a try at the end of the episode. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is such a ridiculous car already. All right. Man, I can, I can already feel the clunkiness. I can already feel how much harder it is to get the back end of this thing to drift out for, for a drift. It feels like I'm pushing a tank around, to be honest. Ugh. It is rough. It is really rough. Wait, did you just hear that? I think, I think this duck makes a squeaky sound sometimes when I boost. Kind of like the dragon that had its uh, dragon roar. All right, let's not boost here. Whoa. All right, come on. Gotta get ready for the boost. Here we go. I have all my boosts saved up. Let's do it. Oh no, maybe too much. Went a little overboard there. Ugh, come on. There we go. Man, look at all these boost notches I have. That's so much security. And I have max speed and max acceleration. These are really, really good stats. I, I was normally out of boost on this part here. Oh, this guy's catching up to me anyway. Impressive. Who are you? Bifocal? Oh, I think I have that. That was a free download. Okay, here we go. I can keep the boost now on this section where I couldn't before. He's still catching up. What? How did he still catch up after that? How much boost does the bifocal have? I used a whole bunch of boost there and still came in second. All right, but man, that car, I think that car had a much better performance to be honest. So are we, do we like the squeaky duck? I mean, let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think? All right, hold on. Where's Bifocal? I'm pretty sure I downloaded Bifocal. It was a free DLC because that was the car that just beat us. Here it is. Oh, it's only common. Should I upgrade this thing and see what it's all about? It's, we can up, let's do it. Let's just see what this one's all about. Go ahead and upgrade. All right. Really? This is only going to have three speed? And that explains the boosting. He doesn't have notches. He just has a gauge. So that does make sense. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 100% completion. This is our collection so far. It is looking pretty good. And uh, this might be my new best car. Those six boosts are a force to be reckoned with, with max speed in between the boosts. Like, that's not bad. I'm curious what you guys think down in the comments below. So, uh, I am tempted to try out multiplayer. Um, I'm sure I'm going to feel very, very bad about my driving skills once I see what the rest of the community is like. So, uh, let me know if you guys have any advice for diving into multiplayer. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff you can find on the end screen right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.